All right, guys, uh, so just doing a review for this uh, watt cycle, 1280 watt um, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery. Um, so watt cycle is kind of a new brand um, to this uh, deep cycle battery market. This battery uh, specifically it is pretty competitively priced. Um, I will have a link down in the description below for this battery. But, uh, you know, because they're a new brand, um, they're on the lower cost side. So I recommend looking into them. Um, if you are looking for a deep cycle lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, of course, you may want to watch this entire video to really make your decision. And overall, my reviews uh, for these type of deep cycle batteries um, is kind of a bit on the light side. You know, I don't go too deep or in depth. I'm just going to be doing a uh, battery capacity test. I'm going to be doing a uh, inverter test. And then I'm going to be doing also a uh, inverter capacity test um, to see how much AC capacity I can pull from this uh, watt cycle battery uh, through a inverter. And um, so what's included in the box uh, with this watt cycle battery is the manual, uh, these um, uh, positive and negative um, coverings uh, for the post bolts. Uh, you get you get a total of four post bolts in the um, in the box. And so these are the two post bolts that I do not have connected to the battery. And I already do have two uh, post bolts connected to the battery right there. And so a big difference um, in comparison to other 100 amp hour 12 volt uh, batteries is that this one is like, you know, a bit more, um, it, it has a uh, larger height. So it's a bit more taller um, rather than being wide uh, because, you know, that Power Queen, Lead Time, that Rododo uh, 1280 watt battery um reviews that i've done like those were kind of like wide they had like a different shape uh but this one like is on the taller side um but i already did do the uh the battery capacity test um and i can confirm that it does have a 1280 watt hour um capacity i'm going to be showing that to you guys in just a second as well but yeah in terms of the size it does have a 10 by 6 by 8 inch of form factor and it weighs about 23 pounds um, so, you know, still on the pretty small side, this is, I mean, it seems smaller, um, in comparison to other 100 amp hour battery reviews I've done, but, uh, yeah, I mean, on the size and the weight, it's what you can expect. Um, you know, it's a bit heavy, obviously 23 pounds. Oh boy. Yeah. Even with one hand, um, pretty difficult to move around. Um, it does have this, uh, removable handle. Um, one thing I will say about this handle though, is that <laughs> removing it is a bit more difficult. In comparison to other batteries, um, you know, I had to really shimmy this through and um, to take it out. But, you know, you can remove this if you want to. Um, as I mentioned before, the, these are the uh, positive and negative terminals at the top. Right over here at the front it just gives you information on the um, capacity, email, website, uh, provider right there. And, okay, over on this side, nothing much. You know, it just gives you the watt cycle uh, logo. And that's really about it. Lithium iron phosphate battery. This is going to be a lot more useful than a lead acid battery. Um, these type of batteries are able to deliver about 4,000 plus charge cycles and still maintain 80% or more of their battery capacity um, efficiency. And I was taking a look at the manual right over here. Uh, it does give you a thank you. And um, in case you want to just take a look at some specifications um, before buying this battery, uh, there they are. Um, that's that. And I think there's like a whole chart as well. Uh, right over here, yes. These are the uh, connection diagram right there. It does have a IP67 water resistance rating. So I guess it can take splashes of water. Um, but of course, don't submerge this battery in water. Um, that will damage it. Oh, and also something I forgot to mention is that this battery does have low temperature protection. And so if it's like negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, discharging or recharging the battery will automatically stop. If you're looking for a low temperature protection type of battery, um, this features that, uh, and also just taking a look at the um, temperature on the higher side, it's going to still function um, with its discharging and recharging up to up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you know, you're looking at a um, range of negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit and all the way up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, guys, so I literally just started the uh, battery capacity test for this uh, 1280 watt hour watt cycle battery. And uh, I'm just going to come back once the pat once the battery is fully depleted of its capacity. Um, and as you can see, I have it running at about 124 watts. Well, you know, about 120 watts 
of a load of power um, and you know I'm just gonna keep running this until it reaches 0% to see how much of that 1280 watt hours I can actually pull from the battery um, you know just a reminder once again I'm looking at a hundred percent capacity efficiency and maybe a little bit more on top of that all right you guys so I did finish up the uh, battery capacity test um, after about uh, 11 hours and um, I ended up with a 1296 watt hour capacity and that gave me about a 101% um, battery capacity efficiency. And uh, so yeah, I can confirm that this battery does feature 1280 watt hours and a little bit more. Um, this is on par with other um, battery capacity testing I've done. Um, and so yeah, there we go. Uh, that's really all there is to it. As you can see on the amp hour side, um, I did get 103 amp hours. All right, guys, so just back with the uh, watt cycle, 1280 watt hour deep cycle battery. And uh, so right over here, I do have it connected to this lead time 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter that I've used before in, in my other deep cycle battery reviews. And so um, in this case, I'm just gonna try to run the battery um, all the way down to 0% um, through this inverter to see how much AC capacity I can pull from it. And also I wanna see if I can actually um, pull more than 1280 watts from this battery because in some deep cycle battery reviews i have been able to pull um more than 1280 watts continuously um but that's not always the case and that's fine because um for this uh watt cycle battery it's only able to continuously output or, or you know supply 1280 watts um anything over that and it will automatically stop supplying power to the inverter and that will cause this uh, lasco heater right over here to uh, shut off, but you know, I just wanna see if it can handle going over 1280 watts until the battery is fully depleted. Um, you know, once again, I don't think that's gonna happen, but I wanna see if it does. And so I'm just gonna start by uh, turning on the heater, um, setting it to its low setting first to make sure that we can at least reach the uh, lower um, wattage setting of this heater. And um, let me see here, right over here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be about like 700 watts on its low setting for the Lasco heater. And uh, you know, the, ba the battery and the inverter sh should handle it with no problems. Let me just set it, the heater to its high setting now to see what happens. Okay, uh, just setting a stopwatch right over here to see how long I can have the um, Lasco heater running on its um, high setting from the watt cycle battery through this uh, lead time inverter. And I'll be right back to see if the um, heater is able to continuously uh, be powered from this kind of setup while pulling about 1280 watts. Um, oh wow, it's like right at 1280 watts about. Um, I think this might just happen, maybe, maybe not. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to do a quick um, mid test update. And so I have the Alaska heater running still on its high setting, um, pulling about 1270 watts, well, 1280 watts right there. And uh, yeah, I've had this running for about 32 minutes. Um, and the battery is still supplying power to the inverter. Um, so I think what's gonna happen is that I'm actually gonna be able to, um, you know, fully deplete the uh, watt cycle battery all the way down to 0% with this heater um, being used on its high setting. Um, but, you know, I don't know what's happening. Um, usually the uh, heater pulls about 1300 watts, um, but in this case it's pulling like almost exactly 1280 watts. Um, from the battery and through the inverter uh, But you know what? I'm not complaining um, It seems like the watt cycle battery is able to keep up with the high setting with the heater um, So so that's good to see I think the last time this happened I was uh, Using I was doing a review for the Ampere time 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery um, But then they rebranded to lead time, but uh, yeah, anyways um, the heater still running on running on its high setting that's good to see. All right, you guys, so back with the uh, watt cycle battery. And so I did end up running the battery capacity all the way down to 0%. Um, you know, I had the Lasco heater on its high setting all the way, all the way until the battery was fully depleted of its uh, capacity. Um, so that's actually uh, pretty cool to see. So, you know, you are able to run an appliance slightly over the 1280 watts that this battery is capable of, uh, you know, supplying. And, um, the lead time uh, inverter right now, uh, the, the, the internal fans are still running uh, because it's probably really hot inside. Um, I do have it off. <laughs> it has been shut off, but the fans are still running. 
Um, I was waiting for the fans to shut off so I could start recording, but it's been a while. Uh, I'm just gonna let the I'm just gonna let the fans do their thing. So when it comes to the AC capacity that I was able to pull, oh there we go. Now the fans turned off, and uh, so when it comes to the um, uh, AC capacity that I was able to pull from this watt cycle battery, um, I was able to get 1,060 watt hours, and that gave me about a 82% capacity efficiency. Uh, this is a bit lower um, in comparison to other deep cycle battery AC capacities, um, AC capacity testing I've done um, because usually I'm able to get about an 88% AC capacity or maybe a 90% AC capacity from a deep cycle battery like this one. Um, so this is one is definitely on the lower side, um, not too bad, but it's something to make note of. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, I mean, you know, on the on the plus side though, I was able to power this uh, Lasco heater on its high setting continuously. Um, you know, for other deep cycle battery battery reviews, um, I've always I've almost always have had to um, set the heater to its low setting and then run the AC capacity to full. It's a decent battery. Uh, fits into if it's into what other deep cycle battery brands offer, but this one is competitively priced. Um, I will have a link to the product page for this battery down in the description below in case you want to take a look at the price and take advantage of the lower price while this brand is still new to the market. And um, I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review article as well. And I will see you all on the next video. All right, goodbye.